Tuba's High Score Challenge. It's the uh, next r- round two of the Tuba's High Score Challenge World Cup, the quarterfinals, uh, as, as it were. Um, my opponent in this round is uh, One Credit Gaming, and the game which has been selected is uh, Mr. Do. Um, as explained um, in the previous round's commentary, it's uh, console games, um, mainly sort of Sega and Nintendo ones. Um, and the games are chosen randomly uh, for, for, for each for, for each round. Um, Mr. Do here is actually one I picked. Um, the reasons for that are well, one of the stipulations is that um, it shouldn't take uh, more than half an hour to uh, to play through. And I was having a bit of a difficulty thinking of a suitable console game with a with a good high score attack, um, which would fit that. And um, I saw Mr. Do, and I thought I had no idea it was on the SNES. Um, it just struck me as a bit odd, really. Like it's like it's a very old game um, on a uh, on a um, 16-bit um, console. Um, so I gave it a quick try, and yeah, like like um, like a lot of these old games, like the like the scoring was was good. Um, it's like like a good challenge, and um, it wasn't taking me too long to um, get get wiped out either. So it, it kind of like ticked all the boxes there. Um, so although it was my um, although this was a game I actually picked, um, it's it's not a game that um, I've I've actually played that much. Um, the, the the back in the day, um, I played a game on the BBC uh, Micro. Uh, I think it was called Mr. E, uh, which was um, basically I think like a ripoff of this. Um, that, that's that's as much as I can remember. Anyway, I've only, I've still only played that a few times, and I've only played Mr. Do a few times as well. So it's it's not like. Um, um, I've got, you know, I've, I've practiced this game like loads before or anything like that, even though it's my pick, so I have come into this like fairly fresh. Um, but yeah, um, as mentioned, like like with a lot of these old games, uh, the, the, the scoring is re- really good. Uh, and I, I, I think that's a testament to it really, because like some of these games are sort of quite simple when you start playing them, but it's kind of like almost like different layers of scoring, sort of different ways of scoring points, and, and it almost sort of like um, encourages you to sort of just keep on sort of trying to get those th- 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 those those bonuses. And um, there's something particularly rewarding about sort of get, getting those bigger points. Um, again, I'm no expert in Mr. D, but um, after a few attempts, uh, I sort of started to sort of work out where I was sort of going to try and get my points from. Uh, which I'll sort of like a run through um, here. I mean, the, the most obvious way of scoring points is uh, through getting the cherries, uh, 50 points per cherry. But if you collect uh, a whole group of them in one go quickly as well without sort of stopping, and the, then you get a bonus of 500 points. So you get 50p per cherry, uh, then 500 points for, for collecting the group. Um, so that's, that's generally what I sort of started off trying to get my points by. However, there's um, of course like um, lots of different ways of scoring points as well. Uh, Mr. Do has this uh, bouncing ball thing, um, which he can sort of launch at the enemies, and it bounces around the maze, and it, it gives you 500 points uh, when you take an enemy out with it. Um, the the bouncing ball, yeah. Once you fight it, it takes a little while for it to come back. Um, from what I've read, apparently it takes longer uh, each time you use it for it to come back. Um, but, but to be honest, sometimes it seems to come back pretty quickly. Sometimes it, it just sort of seems to take an extra bit longer. Um, but um, m- maybe that was just me. But, um, but but anyway, yeah, you got the the bouncing ball which um, comes back, and yeah, you can sort of fire it again. So you can take out the enemies uh, to score points as well. Um, there's my ball sort of stuck in the top right there, which is not good because that leaves me def- defenseless pretty much. Um, although I suppose that brings me on to the next way of scoring points. Um, yes, you can launch the ball at enemies, but you can also drop apples on the heads as well. 
Um, the enemies will tend to sort of home in on you, uh, sort of like ch- chase after you. So you just sort of lead them up to the apple and sort of let it sort of drop on them as you uh, as you run past it or away from it. <clears throat> And there is more methods of scoring, which I'll talk about very shortly as well. Yeah, so the level is complete when you either collect all the cherries on a level, or that all the monsters um, have been killed. Well, all those red ones anyway. Once all the monsters spawn from the centre of the map, though, then an item sort of like gets revealed. Like in that case, is that no, I think it's some kind of ice creamy thing there. And that course is a kind of a, a bonus letter monster to come from the top along with sort of three sort of ghosty things which sort of chase after you. Um, and if you, yeah, collecting the item itself gives you um, a, quite a few points. I think normally it's about a thousand or so to start with, but sometimes it can be as much as like six thousand odd I've seen uh, on, on, on later levels. Um, so there's a big points boost there, and plus you get more enemies to sort of take out, uh, which appear. Although it's best not to take too many chances to find. And the trick is, once you take out the letter thingy chasing you like that one there, and the the, the ghosts which spawn as well, they sort of turn into apples as well. So you can take that out, take 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 the letter thing out to to take them all out basically. And although you won't get points for the other ones turning into apple. apples. Not sure if that makes sense, but um, that's how it works anyway. Um, ooh, and lost a f- first life there, a bit, bit careless really. And right, um, one of the next important mechanics of the game is uh, with the different letters, uh, there's the. they spell it extra. And. The extra letters it sort of cycles at the moment at the top you see it's on E and it sort of goes across to X and T R A then it sort of goes goes back to the left again and it'll go R T X E. Sometimes they appear randomly on the map. Um, and the other time they appear as I was explaining is that when you cut the item in the middle. Now the key thing is here is that you can time it, so you can sort of wait until the um, letter sort of falls on um, the one you want, and uh, one you haven't collected yet, and then collect the item, then that letter will appear, then you sort of take that out along with all the ghosts, and it, it helps sort of build up your extra uh, letters. And once you get extra, then um, yep, you, you get your extra life uh, 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 as well. and. It automatically finishes the stage as well. Um, there's me just um, chucking the ball about a bit. Um, I was trying to keep me distant. Sometimes you can get a bit too close, launch your ball, miss, and then that means like Jason's like losing life carelessly. So I was trying to avoid that, but no, no, no problems in the end there. And slightly different tactics for different levels as well like on this one I just, just like to find my little spot there and just like launch into that middle bit just like take them out general tactic is um, take out the enemies until there's only sort of one or two left then that, that makes it a bit safer to sort of find your way around the board and sort of start um, sort of planning when you're going to sort of get that extra letter as well so. And just just to note about some of the behaviour of the enemies as well, just like that one there I just took out. Um, what they'll sometimes do is um, they'll sort of like turn to like digging mode, where they sort of like start sort of hacking through the um, uh, ground, as it were. Um, and, and, and that that can also hack into cherries, which can sort of mess up, mess up your bonuses a bit. But well, the important thing is not to lose life really. And yeah, sometimes it can catch you out because you, you, like you think yourself, you, th- you think you're safe in a little tunnel, then one sort of dig in from the side when you're sort of watching another part of the screen. I've been caught out by that a few times before. So yeah, just waiting for it to sort of click onto the A. Um, I'm being mindful about sort of that. The other monsters sort of running around there. Okay, and here's a, 
bit, bit of a trick as well, like um, those sort of three ghosts which first appear, they, they, they tend to sort of go to the right straight away, but the letter, um, like in any other case, it'll sort of like, uh, sort of come straight after you, so you can almost like um, decoy the the letter into sort of going in the opposite direction, which makes it a bit easier to hit. Because you, you don't want to be sort of having sort of three, three ghosts in a row chasing after you, and sort of it's, it's going to be difficult to sort of pick them off, pick them all off before at least one of them gets to you. Yeah, and there's lots of things as well. Um, I didn't quite work out, but sometimes it eats the apples, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you can squash it. Um, might, might depend if you hit it square or not, I don't, I don't know. I didn't, didn't quite work that out. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I could have spent a little bit longer on this, by the way. Um, it's it, it's only sort of like early Saturday evening at the moment, a chilly Saturday evening, and I'm sort of sitting here with, with, with my sleeping bag um, on, on me to keep me warm. Um, but um, I've, I've sort of like I recorded this this afternoon, but I've sort of been doing a couple of other things as well, and um, I'm having a few drinks this evening, so it's gonna it's just, just going to get more and more difficult if, if, if I just keep trying. So um, and. With my rubbish internet as well, I just wanted to get it recorded and sort of ready for uploading in time because I did have a right faff last week for some reason. My, my internet was awful um, and it's just, just, just painful watching how long it has taken to upload. But there you go, got there in the end. Yeah, what I really like about this game is um, I, th I, th I think with, with with the ball shot thingy, um, uh, I think that's great because it's kind of like um, you, you've always got, got a chance whilst you've got that. I, th I think there's some early games kind of like a bit like this. Um, I, I think Dig Dug um, was released in the same year, I think I read. Um, but the problem I've got with Dig Dug is like after not too long it, it gets almost impossible to um, escape the enemies like I guess probably just me, me being rubbish and I haven't sort of worked out the proper technique but it's kind of like I, I could never kind of like um, I could never get good at, 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 at Dig Dug so to speak I'm not saying I'm good on Mr. Do either but um, it, I, I just find this a lot more, a lot more manageable, a lot, lot more enjoyable. I can have more, more fun with it instead of like, um, instead of just being in sort of like dying within 10, 15 seconds of the level starting, like in Dig Dug sometimes. its way through. Oh, yeah, that, that's the peril. I missed the shot. Now I've been chased and yeah, losing my life. Game, uh, yeah, as as well as the shot, sort of, you know, giving you sort of protection and sort of like um, just, yeah, it's just nice to sort of take out enemies with it. I just like that you can sort of like dig dig your little tunnels and stuff, and um, just just like hide away, sort of like down a long tunnel, which you know, gives gives you more sort of like time to recharge your shot, so you can sort of like um, sort of 
just snipe them off like, from your hideout and things. <laughs> And as well as as the level goes on, and sort of like sort of dig, dig away more space, it, I, f I find it just gets a bit more difficult and unpredictable, really, because you don't really want to sort of be in an open space because you, because your ball's just going to go everywhere. It's, 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 it just makes it a bit, a bit more un unpredictable. So yeah, playing it, playing it safe, really. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it, I kind of wanted the item in the middle, but if you collect the item in the middle when there's already a letter on the screen, then the then the ghost thing is spawned from that letter. And that could have made it difficult, um, and I may well have lost the life. And when that other enemy started chasing me there, it's kind of like I started running out of space pretty quickly, and so I was like, no, sort so, 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 so the point, just, just finish the level. Ooh, that, that was close. Yes, I dug, dug through there, didn't catch him with the apple. Got that time. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was watching the ball so much there that I just completely didn't see the uh, monster digging its way through on the right. Th thought I was safe and everything, but but no, he dug through. And after ten scenes, get this wonderful message. And um, it, it kind of goes back to the first stage, but it's kind of like a much 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 quicker now. Yeah, the enemies now, they really don't give you much time at all. Because, uh, like, just there, I, th I thought I'd sort of set off in plenty of time, but he was still on me and got me before the apple group had dropped on him. <laughs> and they kind of home in on you a bit more as well now. Um, whereas before, sometimes I sort of run past the, the tunnel you're in. Um, well, although that one did there. Yeah, and the other one did as well. They, they they just seem to sort of chase after you a bit more instead of like running around a bit more randomly. <clears throat> okay, the ghosts go to the right. The dust comes in my direction. I don't lose a life by getting squashed at the end. By the way, there. Um, yeah, if it's, if that's kind of like the last action of the round, then. <clears throat> You don't get punished for it, fortunately. In your face. And yes, yeah, something I didn't notice, uh, but the the layouts of the levels, um, they 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 kind of like like numbers. Uh, so this one, it's sort of like it's, it's written like a two to start with. And if, if, if you see it, there, I've kind of like, I've messed that up a bit now. And uh, yeah, the next one's three, then four, etc. So. Yeah, the good thing about um, like 
the apples and stuff, they're sort of generally kind of like safe spots, really, because even if you don't quite squash them, uh, then it's there's something in the IO which can make the enemy sort of turn back or sort of like um uh, yeah uh, uh, turn back or st st stop chasing after you. It's a bit, bit, bit lucky there. Not not sure how, but yeah, the um, the apple squashed that enemy. Even though it was lucky, but. And yeah, that, that was close. I had the ghost chase staff too, but I took out the letter just in time, which, which turned all of them into apples. And yeah, so it's like a, like a three now, like the like the starting sort of tunnel shape. <clears throat> I was watching one video on YouTube where, like, um, there's, there's all sorts of little tricks you can do. Like, um, you can get some like big scoring points bonuses by sort of, like squashing multiple enemies at once. And one way of kind of doing that is like pushing out an apple sort of very slightly, but not enough so it sort of drops drops down. Oops, lost life there. And the enemies kind of get caught on it a bit, and you can sort of squash squash more at once. Um, I tried doing that a couple of times, but you do need to be really precise, um, and it's not something I've sort of like practiced enough, sort of, sort of skillful enough to you know, just to sort of pull off in the middle of a in the middle of a run. And I, I, I was doing sort of quite quite well, really, sort of just just as it were, sort of just using like not normal tactics. And there's, there's some, something called the stutter technique or something as well, where if you kind of like, if you're just in a certain position, like even though the enemy's right on you, they'll, they'll, they'll just sort of stop. But you just need to be sort of really precise in terms of like where you're positioned, in terms of like the the, the the square you're moving into, so to speak, or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, well, I suppose it's a bit like a four anyway, <coughs> like the shape of the cell. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be anyway. Yeah, and like a, a couple of enemies stuck there, and sort of go into digging mode. But with the apple sort of being on the edge of the screen, it's not like I could sort of push them, um, push, push, push it over them. Yeah, just turned and shot it really. Um, thought I might lose life, even though it's could have got a few more bonus points and stuff. So yeah, just, just taking my time picking them off. Yeah, 
Yeah, just playing it particularly cautious here because um because the enemies sort of move that much faster on these later levels, it's kinda of like um if if you kind of like miss and you've not got enough like room to sort of run away, they they're gonna catch you, so Better in the bonus, um, but I've got to watch out for the enemy as well. Yeah. Got the A there, which was like a good. Uh, good bit. Um, Proish tip as well. Like if you think about it, then the the E and the A letters um, are going to be the more difficult ones to get because. It, for example, it takes longer for it to cycle back to the E, so it'll go from E to A, which is one, two, three, four, then back to E again, which is another one, two, three, four, so that's like eight cycles. Whereas like the T in the middle, that's gonna come along every every four cycles, like it goes from, from T to R to A to R to T. That's it. Yeah, that's T again, and then like to X to E, and to X then T again, so yeah. Um, so if you've got the time, then try and get the E and the A uh, letters um, if you haven't got them already. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sw swarmed by enemies there a bit, um, but uh, I hope. Yeah, kind of like straight on my case, really. So I'm in a fairly safe spot here, and I'm near the bonus as well. And yeah, good good thing about the bonus is like um, well, apart from the points, because it, it, it kind of gives you a breather, and you, you can sort of just like. As long as the layout's right, then you can take out the letter pretty much straight away. Oh, we don't, oh, without too much hassle. So I've got, I've got a nice position here because my me, me ball goes sort of right up that diagonal. But I've got one chasing after me here which I'm not going to get the ball back in time. I managed to squash two of them at once there which is a bonus. And would have been nice to get the item, but uh, being chased and all that. Um, my, my bell's been a bit too. Um, what's the word? Uh, uh, bit, bit, bit too cautious, a bit too. I, I was waiting just a bit too much, maybe, for trying to get the letter I wanted. Uh, whereas maybe I should just, just got the item anyway, which would have been a few thousand points. I think. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 yeah, just fucking, yeah, get, get, get the item. Yeah, I mean, um, I usually like taking out the letters, letter monsters first, just to sort of get rid of all the ghosts, because there's a lot of them, um, if I was a bit more skillful, I could... Yeah, you know, like uh, take take out the like the ghosty things first, which which would be even more points. 
but yeah, when they're this fast, it's kind of like um, if you've got nowhere to escape to, uh, like if, if there isn't an apple nearby you can run to, um, then you're only going to be able to take out one enemy with your ball before you, you you're pretty much fucked. So you, you've, you, you, you've got to respect the enemies here. You got you got to keep your distance. Yeah, because that was again because that's the last um, extra letter. Then uh, yeah, the round finishes straight away. So. Okay, so yeah, this, this was like new high scoring territory for me. Really, um, I'd done a run yesterday where I got we got about two hundred thousand points. So it's kind of like um, I'd, I'd had a few games early today, but but I wasn't getting near near. Miss I was thinking, oh god. But yeah, this is kind of like a, yeah, I've sort of like, I've broken through that barrier again. <clears throat> yeah, I was just a bit worried about, um, I would have got, got, got that cherry there, but I saw the, the enemy sort of going to dig mode and just didn't want him sort of coming through as I was running into the cherry. Yeah, like, like that. That's, that's what I was expecting him to do. Got some fireworks and opening outside as well. I might, might be able to hear, hear the celebrations. Um, what, what's cool about this game is, oh yeah, I like that every every like three levels, um, it, it gives you, um, it lets you know how, how many you scored each round, so you can kind of like, sort of like keep tabs on them, um, uh, sort of like what, what like your par score is and things, you know, just just just, just how, how well you've been racking up the points. And yeah, every was it, every sort of ten levels or so it just like lets you lets you know what, what your average is as well. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool feature. Yeah, didn't have to do that a lot, a lot of games at this time. May well not have done that. So. Yeah, so I've purposely gone to the top of the screen just because like it's a bit um, less open. And but having said that, that is a bit of a risk because sometimes the the enemy letters sort of like spawn there. But yeah, you, you stand your best chance really when you're like in a long sort of like a, in a long corridor, you know, like without many sort of turnings and stuff. Because yeah, the last thing you want. Um, I had some pretty funny occasions actually where it's like launched, launched the ball and it's just, just flew past them at like just, just the wrong angle and stuff. That 
That's intensely lucky. Right, okay, yeah, um, every now and then uh, a diamond drops, which um, you collect it, gives you 8,000 points and finishes the level. Uh, I've collected the special item there, and I've collected the item there to start maximise the points, and the game has crashed. Um, yep, um, unfortunately, um, I don't know whether that set it off because um, I collected the item, then the, the gem thing, which I didn't like. Um, it's not something which just happened uh, on my previous runs, um, which is a bit of a shame because I felt I could have uh, sort of gone um, a, a fair bit further, really. I still had like three lives left. Um, so I was gutted um, that that was the case. Um, but just to recap, though, my score was 264,050, so 264,050. Um, unfortunately, I had to end that.